Hello, welcome to chapter 7, section 7. The title of the section is called Multiplying Polynomials. I'm doing the guided practice problems on page 497. We're going to do problems 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, and 12. In these problems, we're going to multiply a monomial, just one term, by a polynomial, three terms or two terms. Or in, I don't think any of them get more than that. Yeah, okay. Now, like I said, you can use what we call distribution, the distributive property. Distribution comes from the word to distribute, which means to share. So I'm gonna share that four with the x squared, with the two x, and with the one. However, when we learn algebra for the first time, sometimes it's easier if we organize our thinking. So I think it'd be better if I drew it like this. So I'm gonna put my four over here on the left and my x to the second power, my 2x, and my 1 right there. Now, notice that I told, I told you I was going to do it. Let me find one of my old sheets here. That's what I did in the first videos. So, notice I didn't draw all the boxes in and everything. If you want to draw all the boxes, that's fine. I usually don't. I do it with, like, hidden grid lines, so to speak. So, what goes here? It's 4 times x squared, so I just get 4x squared. What goes here? 4 times 2x, 4 times 2 is 8, so I get 4, to, uh, 4 times 2x is 8x. And 4 times 1 is 4. So I can't leave it like that, that's just me figuring it out. So I'm going to write 4x to the second power plus 8x plus 4. For problem number eight, I get three times a times b, and I get two a to the second power, three b to the third power. Three times two is six. One a, or a to the first power, times a to the second power is gonna be a to the third power, one plus two is three. And I have a variable b, but none of them here, so that b comes along for the right. 3 times 3 is 9. Here's an A. There's no A's up here, so I only get that single A, A to the first power. And B times B to the third power, think of it as 1 plus 3, so that I get B to the fourth power. So my response, my answer, so to speak, is 6A to the third power B plus 9A B to the fourth power. Now look, some of these are going to get a little bit more, they're going to get kind of complicated. It's okay, you can handle it, you know how to do this. Make my multiplication chart. So I got 2a to the third b, that's that. 3a to the second b, and 1a b to the second. Why did I say 1? Because it's hidden right there, i got to remember that. 2 times 3 is 6, you know that a to the third plus a, sorry times a to the second three plus two is five five sorry a to the fifth power oops and b times b is b to the second power cool we got one i'm done let's do the other one two times one remember i said we need to remember this one two times one is two a to the third times another a is a to the fourth power and b times b to the second power, 1 plus 2 equals 3. So I get 6a to the fifth, b to the second, plus 2a to the fourth, b to the third. Make my plus sign a little bit better. So I'm setting up my multiplication chart or my table if you want to use that negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 x times x to the second power is x to the third power negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12 and x times x is x to the second power and negative 3 times 6 is negative 18 there's no x's here so that x doesn't get multiplied by any of its cousins so I get negative 3x to the third 
plus 12x to the second, subtract 18x. As always, if I'm going too fast, just pause it and rewind it. 5x to the second y, 2xy to the third, subtract y. Make that a little bit bigger. All right, five times two is 10. Close that, close that zero. X to the second times another X, I'll put the one there. Two plus one equals three, X to the third power. Y times Y to the third, I'll put the one right there. One plus three equals four, Y to the fourth power. Now for the next part, five times negative one, because there's a hidden negative one right there, is negative five. I have x to the second. I don't have any more x's up here, so I still have x to the second. And y to the first times y to the first, one plus one equals two, so I get y to the second power. All right, now the last one, you're probably thinking, oh boy, that looks very, very scary. It's not, you can handle this. They're just trying to get you to do what we did in the previous video before we multiply here. We're just gonna multiply these two things. So I got this times this times this. That's a monomial, that's a monomial, that's a binomial. So I'm gonna take care of these monomials first. Five times one is five. M to the second power times another M, two plus one equals three, M to the third power. N to the third power times N to the second power I'm from Indiana, so my M's and M's sound, sound the same. 3 plus 2 equals 5. And I still have 4M subtract N in the parentheses. Now I can make my multiplication chart. 5M to the third N to the fifth times 4M subtract N. 5 times 4 is 20. m to the third times m to the first is m to the fourth. And the n to the fifth power just comes along. Maybe I didn't give myself enough space there. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. m to the third, there's no m's up here, but n to the fifth power times n, 5 plus 1 equals 6. So my final answer, m to the fourth, n to the fifth, 20, m to the fourth, n to the fifth, subtract five, m to the third, n to the sixth. All right, we'll see you in the next video.